Hello and welcome to the City of Byram Fire Department's YouTube channel. This YouTube channel was designed to help people with our computer system, which is FireBridge, and also help with other stuff, daily operations, training. Uh, we're just going to upload a bunch of different videos that will help you uh, throughout your career and the time that you work here at Byram. If you're brand new, congratulations on getting hired. The first thing I'm going to show you is on FireBridge, the basic login uh, how to basically log in for the first time. So I'm going to turn the light on. I'm going to show you what I wrote down. All right. If you look, I made up a, a mock name to show you. The name is going to be John Doe. So if John Doe is your name, you'll get on your iPhone, iPad, computer. Most people do it from their phone because you got everybody has a cell phone and you're going to be on your phone more than anything. So go to www.msfirebridge.com and the username is going to be capital letter of your first name. So it'll be capital J on this name and then DOE lowercase on the last name 25015. The 25015, that's our Infers FD ID number. That is our unique number for City of Byron Fire Department, 25015. That's where that number is. And you will have a temporary password when you, first, when you log in for the first time. It's going to be Welcome 1. That's going to be a capital W, the rest lowercase, and then the number 1. So that right there is the information for your first login. Okay. Now... I will show you how to log in. So if you type in the www.msfirebridge.com, it'll take you to this page. That's the home screen. Come down to where it says username. I will click on username. I will do capital J, D-O-E, 25015. Password is going to be welcome one with a capital W. Capital W, lowercase e, lowercase l, Lowercase c, lowercase o, lowercase m, lowercase e, the number one. I will click submit. System login. You see it says your password has expired. So now you have to make up your own password. So once you log in the first time, you have to create your own unique password that you can remember every time. For this one, I'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. three, four, five, six. It has to have one numeric character and also it has to have one uppercase letter. So I'm gonna do uppercase F. One, two, three, four, five, six, capital F, submit. Now I am in the login section. I'm just gonna X out of this on my computer Okay, every time that you log in, this box will pop up. It's a privacy statement. I always click yes. Every time you're gonna have to click yes. It's aggravating, but you still have to click yes. I click yes. This is what your home page will look like. Dashboard, incidents, that's where you add a run, and then incident list, that's where you can look at the runs that you put in. Come over here, see right here, City of Byram FD, that's your name. It'll say, welcome so-and-so. For this one, it's John Doe, so it says, welcome John Doe. This little box here, it's, you see it's a gray box with a zero. That means that is your inbox. That is basic, basically your Firebridge email. <clears throat> so there's no messages. That's where you log out. And basically, it'll have notes. All this is from State Fire Marshal's office. So Firebridge goes directly to the State Fire Marshal's office. And from the State Fire Marshal's office, they submit everything to Enfers. At the end of the year, they submit everything to Enfers. And Enfers is National Fire Incident Reporting System. So... Everybody needs to be familiar with Firebridge because you'll be using Firebridge for a long time 
if you stay in the fire service. So these, these are the two tabs that you'll use constantly. In the next videos, you'll see where I'm gonna go over each of the tabs. So that completes this video, and please watch the upcoming videos. Thanks.